It's common for those of us who are pre-tribulation rapture believers to think that after Jesus has saved the souls he is going to save, the rapture will occur and the great tribulation will commence. I believe this to be true as well. It makes sense, but there's no scripture saying, stating that specifically. God knows the beginning from the end. Every minute people are becoming saved, but many more are being lost to eternal damnation. God knows the exact moment he will tell Jesus to round up his church. How many times will Jesus be rejected by each person? The information on how to receive Jesus Christ as Savior has been out there. It's everywhere. It's been there for a long time. Problem is, people tune it out. As soon as they hear something remotely Christian, they'll turn it. They'll change it. They don't want to hear it. Um, if you're not a Christian... Because you do that, you automatically shut off anything about God or the Bible. When you stand before God, you will answer for it. But that, then now I wonder if hatred of Israel could end up being the measure for triggering the rapture. Now let's take a look at the scripture about God's promise to Israel. Genesis chapter 12, it's talking of Israel. I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. And when God makes a promise, he keeps it. It, it is ironclad. Anti-Semitism will not be tolerated by God. Right now, the entire world is rejecting Jesus and rejecting Israel and the Jews, if not actively working against them. God will keep his promise and judge the entire world. So when, it, when the uh, amount of anti-Semitism reaches a certain level and God will not, he will not change his promise, he will, not, he will always keep a promise to curse those that are cursing Israel. We should expect that very, very bad times are coming because People are doing more and more against Israel. Israel will never be eliminated as a country. People who support the genocide of Israel say they are on the right side of history. And the opposite is true. They are on the exact wrong side of history. Anyone who picks up a Bible knows that. So this big curse that's coming upon basically every country in the world, will this include the Great Tribulation? Why not? God can't get the attention of the world in any other way. Another, another proof of the Bible is the very existence of Israel. Coming from their history and from being kicked out of their land for thousands of years, which, by the way, is their land, and then they come back. No other old ancient group has ever done that. Before God's wrath upon the unbelieving world takes place, he will remove his church. He will rapture the Christians. And that's how one can make the connection that the hate of Israel 
could trigger the rapture. To me, it adds up. It makes sense. So regardless if this is right or not, now's the time to accept Jesus as your Savior. Sin needs a blood sacrifice to pay for it. The blood of Jesus can wash your sin as white as snow. He came to the world as a sinless sacrifice, being all man and all God. And he gave his life willingly on the cross. Jews did not kill Jesus. We all killed Jesus because he went there willingly to give his life for the sin of man. All we have to do is accept his payment. It's the only way to get into his heaven. Please study this. Check out my other videos to find out more until you have this settled once and for all.